botching Ghost in the Shell, Death Note, and Dragon Ball Evolution, Hollywood finally got it right. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Alita Battle Angel moments. For this list, we're taking a look at the standout scenes from this live action adaptation of the Japanese manga series and OVA. If you haven't seen this insta cult classic yet, keep in mind there will be spoilers. Number 10. Two Tanjis are better than one. Alina received a PG-13 rating from the MPAA, but that didn't stop Robert Rodriguez from working in his trademark over-the-top violence. Tanji in particular receives one of the most brutal deaths we've seen in a non-R-rated movie. A scrap dealer who doesn't always see eye to eye with his friend Hugo, Tanji might have been lacking in a moral code, but he was a saint compared to Zapan. Using my name? Man, what's wrong with you? I can't do this anymore. Not long after being humiliated by Alita, Zapan sets out to frame Hugo for murder and claim the bounty on his head. I never killed anyone. Just did. Of course, revenge is its own reward for this sadistic cyborg. When Tanji gets caught in the middle, Zapan cuts him in half with his Damascus blade and leaves the audience feeling torn apart as well. He'll run! <laughs> Number 9. Zapan Face Off As disturbing as Tanji's death was, Zapan's fate is perhaps even more graphic, with or without any blood or gore. Let me make it easier for you. You know the phrase, use your head? Well, Dr. Shiren takes it literally when Hugo is knocking on Death's door, hooking his severed head up to Alita's heart. Alita tries to pull a fast one on Zapan by showing him Hugo's head, but he can see that he's not quite dead yet. Hugo is dead. I claim the bounty. Nevertheless, Alita remains a step ahead of Zapan, as she has already claimed the bounty on Hugo. So, when Zapan inadvertently breaks factory law, Alita is given jurisdiction to slice his face off in a moment that's equally satisfying and badass. Adding to the poetic justice, she uses the same blade Zapan killed Tanji with. Thanks. My face. My, my face. Number 8. Vector's Death Although Alita and the villainous Vector don't share many scenes together, the film still manages to build up a compelling rivalry, and that's mainly because of how different these characters are. Did you get her? Security. Alita is a live wire who refuses to remain under anyone's thumb, and Vector is a composed manipulator who seeks control above all else. Alita may be a cyborg, but Vector ultimately ends up being another cog in a much bigger machine. Storming the factory and taking down all of his lackeys, Alita uses Vector to communicate with Nova, who's the true mastermind. So we finally meet Alita. Not your real name, of course. When Nova threatens her loved ones, Alita shows that she means business as well. Following a final stab from Alita, Vector goes down like a puppet that's been stripped of its strings. You'd made the biggest mistake of your life. And what's that? Underestimating who I am. Number 7. Nova Revealed An all-seeing eye who looks down on Iron City from the Haven of Zalem up above, Nova's presence is always felt, although he's kept concealed from the audience until the very end. Alita has become a champion of the motorball arena, but she has even higher aspirations in the wake of Hugo's demise. In so few words, Alita raises her blade towards the city in the sky, letting Nova know that she's coming for him. Closing out, the filmmakers drop the movie's greatest bombshell. Nova is played by Edward Norton. We couldn't be more eager to see these two go head-to-head. -head. Can we get a sequel greenlit already? Number 6. Alita Awakens Alita brings literal meaning to the term wide-eyed optimism when Dr. Dyson Ito awakens her. With no memories of her past, she approaches everything as if she's experiencing it for the first time. Eat this. Get your sugar levels up. When Alita steps out into the high-tech world, the audience is essentially exploring the area through those big eyes of hers. 
The Iron City itself is a marvel of production design, looking like a futuristic metropolis if it were entirely constructed from scraps. What's that? Zalib. Oh. The last of the great sky cities. Since Alita is new to this world, she's almost naively stomped over by a mounting robot, leading to her introduction to Hugo. As Alita swoops in to protect a dog from the machine, though, Hugo finds that this cyborg has natural instincts. <laughs> Number 5. Ido Finds Alita while Alita is an action picture at its core, the film takes its time establishing mood and atmosphere without relying heavily on dialogue. As the film opens in the year 2563, Ido rummages through a towering pile of discarded junk. Although he's only looking for spare parts, he finds something that will make him feel whole again. A mutilated cyborg that lacks a proper body, but still has a functioning brain. You're alive? Well, one man's trash is another man's treasure, and Ido sees the potential for a second chance looking into the cyborg's expressive eyes. Back at Ido's lab, the cyborg inherits the body he constructed for his late daughter, as well as her name, Alita. What are you dreaming, little angel? Number 4. A Battle Angel Awakens Tracking Ido one evening, Alita learns that her father figure isn't merely a doctor, but also a hunter-warrior. Likewise, Ido discovers that his surrogate daughter is no ordinary cyborg. Confronted by a trio of wanted cyborgs, Alita has no trouble smashing in Roma with her bare fists. Nisiana puts up more of a fight with her creepy crawly spider-like body, but Alita manages to finish her off as she displays the full extent of her martial arts skills. Although ringleader Gruwishka is more hulking in size, Alita demonstrates that deadly things can come in small packages, shredding off his arm and forcing the brute to retreat. The fight choreography is wickedly inventive, and the cyborg designs make the original manga leap off the pages into the third dimension. Gruwishka does not forget. I'm coming for you. Number 3. Thank You For Saving Me when Hugo first meets Alita, he's something of a lost soul. Oh, you're heavy. I mean, oh, you're a cyborg. Ironically, it isn't until after he falls in love with Alita and gains a cyborg body that Hugo discovers his true humanity. While Alita saves Hugo in more ways than one, she isn't able to prevent his ultimate downfall. All Hugo has ever dreamed of is rising above Iron City, and just when it seems like his dream may become a reality, Vector stabs him in the back. Hugo is thus driven to climb to Zalem himself via cargo tube, which Alita knows is suicide. We belong up there, Alita. We don't belong anywhere except together. Despite her pleas, Alita can't prevent Zalem's defense system from slicing Hugo into pieces. What's left of him is only able to bid a tearful farewell before letting go. Thank you for saving me. I love you. <laughs> Number 2. Alita vs. Gruishka Just as he brought a graphic novel to life in Sin City, Robert Rodriguez's visionary direction helped turn Alita Battle Angel into a live-action anime. Nowhere is this better exemplified than through Alita's multiple showdowns with Gruishka. Following a bombastic bar brawl against Japan and several other bounty hunters, Gruishka drops in with a few upgrades. Like John Wick, Alita is more determined than ever to crush Gruishka after he slays a defenseless dog. So innocent. <laughs> Crashing into the underworld together, Gruishka cuts Alita into several pieces, but that doesn't stop her from delivering the final blow and an applause worthy F bomb. F your mercy. By the time these two cross paths again for round three, Alita has picked up some upgrades herself, finally sending Gruishka to meet his maker. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there, though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Alright, back to business. Number 1. Motorball 
motorball is one of the most imaginative fictional sports we've ever seen on the silver screen. Playing out like a roller derby meets a battle royale. When Hugo introduces Alita to motorball, it's the equivalent of kids playing street hockey. <laughs> Once Alita enters an actual race, it's a gladiator match on wheels that's only intensified by the fact that Vector has rigged the system. It's set up, you gotta get out of there. They're gonna kill you. Which ones? All of them! Once Alita realizes that her competitors have been ordered to destroy her, survival becomes the new name of the game. One by one, Alita demolishes the cyborgs on her tail in explosive fashion, eventually taking the game out of the arena and onto the streets. Motorball evolves the concept of robot fights to the next level, sending audiences to cyberpunk heaven. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.